With today's online personalities and influencers known to rule millions of followers, there is one man who stands head and shoulders over them all. With videos full of big challenges, sweeping giveaways, and acts of altruism that have clocked up billions of views with an unmovable fan base, Mr. Beast, otherwise known as Jimmy Donaldson, is a household name on YouTube. However, some recent revelations from a former employee using the alias Dogpack 404 somewhat cast a dark shadow over Mr. Beast's seeming empire. He says home is very different from what goes on behind the scenes. This expose is going to blow the lid off some jaw-dropping allegations regarding the scripting of Mr. Beast's content and manipulation through CGI. It's going to raise questions about so-called acts of philanthropy on his part. There needs to be an investigation into these allegations and what they really mean for both Mr. Beast's brand and, more importantly, his millions of followers. So this is part one into my investigation into Mr. Beast. Uh, I recorded this before the Chris stuff came out. I was also gonna come out about the Chris stuff, probably in part two or three. Um, cause I see a lot of people saying like- Mr. Beast Rise. The rise of Mr. Beast from an average young YouTuber to a global phenomenon has been documented. With his viral challenge videos, acts of philanthropy, and mind-boggling stunts, his channel turned into a symbol of giveawayism. From giving away millions of dollars in the streets to random passers-by, all the way to large organized competitions with wild prizes, Mr. Beast has really managed to brand himself as a torchbearer of benevolence across the digital world. His strategy is highly risky and highly rewarding. Most of his videos usually show people competing with others for prizes that will change their lives. The facade of Mr. Beast's empire invites one into a world where life apparently revolves around being kind and giving. Starting with bundles of cash, tithing, complex scenarios, and over-the-top awards, the videos racked up millions in views. High production value and what seemed like candid interaction crowned him as one of the most influential faces on YouTube. However, as Mr. Beast continued to rise, the digital community began to murmur about the sustainability and authenticity of such content. Mr. Beast was giving away on a large scale, something no one else was doing. So many wondered how he could afford to fund such big handouts and if everything that happened on screen was real. From the selection of participants to how the challenges were run, there was some really complex planning involved in the video that really made me wonder, was all of Mr. Beast's success really organic or is there more calculated motion in play? It's, it's been crazy because I've, I've been doing it since I was 11. And really? Now, yeah, so now I'm 23 and so it's just like, Basically, every year it just gotten crazier and crazier. And Revelations from Dog Pack 404. However, all of that sheen from the online persona of Mr. Beast was somewhat dented by a former employee who goes by the name Dog Pack 404, blowing the lid off some explosive claims. According to Dog Pack 404, there is actually nothing real about the content Mr. Beast produces. That is an accusation that begs the question what indeed were his videos all about? and whether he really has been altruistic at all. The accusations have created heated debate among viewers with others defending Mr. Beast's methods as necessary for creating content that is engaging, but most of the people are feeling betrayed by the notion that their favorite YouTuber might be deceiving them. This idea that the wholesome and generous persona of Mr. Beast might be a carefully crafted facade has made many rethink their relationship with the kind of content they consume online. The exposés by Dogpack 404 have unraveled a dark underbelly within the digital content creation industry, where this relentless struggle to remain relevant and garner views has at times given way to unethical practices. Many are rendered speechless by the fact that even the most beloved, apparently real creators would go to such lengths. That is, something that shook the community about how actual online fame or success really is. YouTube. I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a fraud, by a former employee of Mr. Beast named Dog Peck for Ava, Chris Tyson, is a major liability, but they can't get rid of her because she's already threatened legal action. Uh, everything that she knew, everything other people know, I promise you on everything Mr. Beast has done. Amazon, if you can get your money back, get your money. Manipulation of the audience. One video says, I worked for Mr. Beast, he's a fraud where Dogpack404 alleges that Mr. Beast manipulates his young audience psychologically. According to the former employee, Mr. Beast creates content to fool the viewer's emotions to entertain them and make them feel, at the same time, that he is being generous and actually does kind acts. He subtly makes them do something which would pay off financially for himself.
This form of manipulation is nothing new in the digital content area, where multitudes of creators use all sorts of cerebral user retention techniques to keep people engaged and increase their engagement. Still, that Mr. Beast, someone seen by many as an extremely positive influence, would do so has some of his fans disillusioned. Some of the things which, together, might characterize how Mr. Beast's content is brewed to suck in maximum viewer retention and, subsequently, add revenue. While it's not illegal, such tactics do raise ethical concerns, especially while targeting a young and impressionable audience. The idea that Mr. Beast is using his followers for emotional profit has placed a slight dent in his otherwise blemish-free reputation. Now, Mr. Beast intentionally manipulates these children's vulnerable minds for profit using uh, three simple steps which closely align with the three major types of behavioral. Step two is showing the viewers that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. Working conditions. Another former employee, Jake Weddle, has come out to tell some horror stories related to working conditions on the sets of Mr. Beast videos. He narrated experiences that further resulted in insomnia due to continuous lighting and no satisfaction of basic needs, like sleeping and eating. Weddle equated the treatment to breaking the Geneva Convention and claimed Mr. Beast's team hired a registered sex offender and tried to cover up the situation upon its disclosure. The fact that the very people who bring Mr. Beast's vision to life are in real suffering behind the scenes adds another layer to the controversy. Furthermore, the allegations of hiring a sex offender and trying to cover up the act brought strong scrutiny into the culture at Mr. Beast's camp. Many have been left wondering if Mr. Beast's brand really is as pure as it seems from the outside looking in. How he handled this very private matter certainly raises many eyebrows, devoid of transparency and accountability. Buy a limited edition shirt or hoodie, and we're gonna pick a random one in 10 minutes and give them $2,000. Have we done iPhones yet? Yep. Oh, we did one. Oh, wait. Hey, yeah. Daryl, first, actually, before we do that, we never picked a pinata. So these clearly fit the definition of an illegal lottery. These clips are also not out of context. No one ever said no purchase necessary. There's nothing in the description or on the website. At one point, Mr. Beast is informed that they ran out of PlayStations, and he says, are we trying to not sell merch? Illegal lotteries. The same video from Dogpack404 accuses Mr. Beast of holding illegal lotteries across the channel for more ethical concerns around his giveaways and contests. That is a huge deal to say Mr. Beast is breaking the law just to get views on his channel. If the allegations prove to be right, it involves legal issues. Illegal lotteries are a huge issue, as they grievously exploit individuals who engage in them by offering a chance to win a life-changing prize. Mr. Beast is held up as a role model to millions of people and the thought of his possible involvement in such practices is causing outrage among his fans. If these accusations prove to be true, it can mean serious troubles for Mr. Beast's brand and probably continue churning out content at this pace. Possible legal fallout due to the loss of trust from his audience could all but guarantee the end of Mr. Beast's reign as king of YouTube. Dogpack404 has come out to claim that most of Mr. Beast's videos are scripted, the former employee expounded on the fact that, in most cases, videos that appear to show spontaneity and excitement have been planned and rehearsed. This would hence imply that viewers are watching a performance of what had been planned. Obviously, one of the strongest arguments against Mr. Beast is the fact that while his challenges are supposedly spontaneous and exciting, they are fixed up front. Participants in most cases could know the outcome or even have their roles scripted to drive a given narrative. This not only fakes the reliability of the perceived content, but more than this, paves the road for an ethical consideration of viewer manipulation of feelings and expectations. The revelation that Mr. Beast's content might be scripted has been generalized into a much larger discussion on the authenticity of online content. This idea, at a time when viewers are craving genuine and relatable content more and more, has left many of them with this feeling of betrayal regarding one of the most popular YouTubers. It also opens up questions about where ethics falls in digital content creation. While there is nothing particularly wrong with scripting content, since Mr. Beast shows most of his videos as real and natural, he has been scrutinized recently for being lying and manipulative. The controversy sparked a wider debate about the importance of transparency and honesty in the digital age, 
They are never random subscribers. If you subscribe, you will not win a million dollars. And what's even worse is that the results of this video were completely scripted. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, it would have been a PR problem if the boys had won by a lot. And because so many of the female contestants were Mr. Beast employees who got out immediately, production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge close. The role of CGI, how a digital illusion is created. Dog Pack 404 further exposed that CGI is quite an instrumental element in the making of Mr. Beast's content. He claimed that these high-end visual effects and over-the-top setups are not usually done in real life, but rather digitally. Kind of use of CGI gives Mr. Beast's videos spectacle, hence ever more dramatic to watch. It also works really well with the assumption that some of the things Mr. Beast is claiming to do in his challenges and giveaways could actually be falsified by using CGI. One can alter videos and manipulate participants by using computer-generated imagery and create the whole element of surprise where none exists. Mr. Beast's videos have begged the question of authenticity, whether viewers are being deceived to believe what they are seeing is factual because of the involvement of CGI. The fact that one can use CGI to create illusions and manipulate reality begged for a wider debate on ethics behind using digital content with such capabilities. Moreover, the use of CGI has opened up a wide debate on how far technology should be applied in content making. Mr. Beast Response Mr. Beast, at the moment, has yet to respond to the allegations forwarded by Dog Pack 404. It will be very important how Mr. Beast and his team respond to this. Assuming the accusations are correct, it is truly going to be difficult for Mr. Beast to redo his reputation and bring back the trust of his audiences. It might also be that Mr. Beast will file a lawsuit against Dog Pack 404 or discredit the former employee's claims. How Mr. Beast goes about this controversy will be of huge importance to the future of the brand and taking care of the expose presented. In the final analysis, Mr. Beast's story from rags to global stardom served as a great inspiration to millions across the world, but allegations brought forward by Dog Pack 404 put a dent in his reputation. The well thought out production, content writing of people involved, and the lavish use of CGI, that is, pointing out the fact that these videos are not real, come under the category of Mr. Beast. These are allegations that so far cannot be proved. At this point, it comes down to the disgruntled former employee's word against one of the world's biggest YouTube channels. Only time can tell how such revelations will dent Mr. Beast's brand and the broader influencer industry.